Joining us now from Washington is Carol Browner, director of the White House Office of Energy and Climate Change. Uh, Ms. Browner, good morning. Good morning. We're hearing from BP that they're making good progress with this static kill. Are you satisfied with the progress they're making so far? Well, I think the static kill has provided us very important uh, information. Uh, we remain focused on, on the relief well. That is the way to permanently kill this well. That's what we uh, want to see happen. That's what we're going to make sure happens. But I think we are getting some good news out of the Gulf, both in terms of uh, the information from the static kill, but also what our scientists are telling us. The vast majority of the oil uh, has been contained. It's been burned. It's uh, been cleaned. And I think that's good news for the people of the Gulf. On the other side of that, with an estimation of 5 million barrels that went into the water as a result of this bill, the New York Times is reporting that there's still a quarter of it out in the water. How concerned are you about it? Well, that, that quarter uh, will weather, it will break down naturally. Mother Nature will do her part. But we're going to continue to be vigilant to ensure that anything that comes on shore, the tar balls, the sheen, is cleaned up rapidly. You know, we're going to continue to work with the Gulf Coast communities, with the people of the Gulf, uh, to make sure that their communities are made whole, to make sure that BP is held accountable. You know, Harry, this is the worst environmental disaster in the history of our country. And we have launched the largest uh, response, almost 7,000 vessels, more than 40,000 people. And I think what the scientists are telling us today is that made a difference, that, you know, mm. almost three-quarters of the oil was actually captured, uh, cleaned, and skimmed. One of the other issues that's out there is this issue of dispersant. Uh, BP was, suggest, you know, was encouraged not to use it. They apparently use, continue to use it. Do we have any idea how much was used, and do we have any speculation about what its long-term effect might be? Well, we will continue to monitor. We've been monitoring. You know, the dispersant decision was obviously a difficult one. Uh, you know, oil is very, very toxic. It's, it's dangerous in the environment. A decision was made in conjunction with the Environmental Protection Agency uh, to use it. Uh, EPA then directed a BP to use less, so 72% mm -hmm. reduction in the use. But obviously, we have to continue to monitor, uh, which we are doing, and we mm -hmm. will continue to do. Right. The other story that's out there this morning is in the Washington Post, and it suggests that the government might end its ban on deep water drilling before the November deadline. Do you support that idea? Well, what the president has said from, from the beginning is we needed to take a pause on this type of drilling. We needed to understand three things. One, how to make sure it was as safe as possible. Two, if there were to be another accident, how we would contain it. And finally, how we would clean up any oil that got released. We've clearly learned a lot from, from the last, uh, this, this effort in terms of containment and in, in terms of cleanup. Mm -hmm. You know, when we have all of the answers, then I, I, the, the decision will be made appropriately. But we need to make sure this can be done safely and that we can protect the Gulf Coast communities. Carol Browner, thank you very much for your time this morning. I do appreciate it. Thank you.